The challenge that businesses and IT departments have to manage mobility applications over what is often separate networks. And what I mean by that is on site in an enterprise or a business environment, you can have a wireless LAN. Uh, as a user roams out into the public, that could be then obviously a cellular network. The advent of WiMAX as a new emerging broadband wireless uh, technology can also come into the equation. And this can go vertical. You could be on a manufacturing floor that could be utilizing a proprietary wireless network, say one at 900 megahertz, uh, for tracking different tagged assets and devices across the manufacturing floor. So what I'm describing here is a lot of different networks that are wireless, could even be wired. You can consider Ethernet as one too. And the IT challenge then is how can you increasingly manage and extend mobility applications and services over multiple networks. From the end user perspective, it shouldn't matter ultimately. But to get to that point is going to take some work. Uh, and we think a new approach uh, to unify the mobility network that is truly more ac access agnostic, but at the same time, you get the same experience across these different networks. Uh, the, the number one, I, I think, foundation in discussion about mobility with customers is to expect the unexpected uh, and to not only look at where uh, they are today with mobility, but also to anticipate the different requirements that are going to be coming or finding their way into their business or their organization. Uh, next generation of workforce comes in. They're going to come in with a whole host of new and different devices. Uh, Apple iPhone is a great example here. Uh, we, I have a lot of discussion with uh, university customers that their challenge is they want to provide connectivity for these new dual mode devices, their cellular and Wi-Fi devices, but how do they make sure that it's a secure experience uh, for those devices as they come on to, in this case, a university network? So I think a key challenge is to look at approach-wise and architecturally how you can deploy how the network, an IP-based network, we firmly believe, can really be the centerpiece or the foundation or the platform to be able to manage and extend mobility experiences and services out to this increasing number and diversity of mobile devices. Uh, having that architecture in place and converging more over an IP-based network from the start, we think will help our customers scale and take on new mobility requirements that come in over time. We certainly see mobility as business mobility evolving very rapidly amongst customers of all different types. I think one thing that's fundamental across all different industries with mobility is that today when you think of mobility, you think of mobile phones and you think of laptop computers. Uh, where we see this market moving towards is that if you think about just the sheer quantity of laptop computers and increasingly dual mode devices or mobile phones, that certainly is a large population of mobile devices uh, that can be networked and we believe increasingly can be networked in the business environment across an IP-based network. What's really exciting and also candidly a challenge for us in this industry is that we feel that we've just scratched the surface in terms of the sheer number and diversity ultimately of mobile devices that can be mobilized over whether it be a Wi-Fi network, cellular network, uh, or the like. So here I'm talking about getting into not only mobile devices but the Internet of Things. So any asset that is currently inventoried within a manufacturing plant, within a storage facility, potentially can be mobilized. So we get now into the realm of RFID technologies, both active and passive RFID tagging technologies that today typically aren't networked or connected via an IP-based network, whether it be Wi-Fi or what have you. They tend to be networked via a proprietary wireless network that's been set up. What we see is where things are moving, it's essentially the potential of a huge wave of new devices, assets, actively tagged or passively tagged, that ultimately can be 
connected and converged over an IP-based network infrastructure. The benefit for IT and for our customers is it's less silos that you have to manage. You can track more, get a holistic view, for instance, of all these different assets across the location, know what's going on with those assets in many cases. And here's where we've been doing a lot of exciting work in the area of telemetry. So where is that medical device, but also what are the temperature readings? Uh, what's the humidity levels? What's the power level? Is battery power up or down? If you think about taking that location information of all these different assets and then get that context of what that asset is doing at that particular time and the network being a platform to roll that up into a custom application that you can take advantage of this information, that's a true business impacting application that will make a big difference. That is mobility to us as well in our view. Uh, so really to summarize, how is mobility going to evolve? One, we're going to see a sharp increase in the workforce and partners and customers that expect to be mobile within the business environment. Two, the sheer number, both in terms of quantity and diversity, of different mobile devices and assets is going to sharply increase over the next few years. So I think the challenge in the industry is there has to be a different approach to how these mobile networks can be managed and you can have seamless experiences across a private network to public network to personal network and then ultimately how you can network a larger diversity of devices together to make true business impact.